It's the 20 reasons we love and hate the land of Gilinor, aka Ruinscape. There are over 25 unique different skills to train. Just about everything in Runescape 3 is AFKable. If you don't like Runescape 3, you can always relive your good old days in the 2007 servers. The skill cape rework, because the concept art looked nothing like what we got in game. Jagex updated all of Runescape's music to include a full orchestra, and it sounds beautiful. Changing hit points to Constitution was entirely pointless for the skill. Everyone still calls it, and always will call it, hit points. The NXT client makes the game greater than it already was, with further render distances and no more loading screens. The community complains about everything. Breaking your back to kill a boss 5,000 times to finally achieve your very own boss pet. The evolution of combat killed PKing. How am I supposed to kill someone if the other person turns into the avatar? There's always a community to help you with your questions and answers. Squeal of Fortune and Treasure Hunter are just in-game microtransactions that nobody wants. You can buy RuneScape membership and other goodies with in-game money using bonds. They removed the wild and brought it back after they made us vote for it. TWICE! Are you a fan of RuneScape? Do you wish it was real? Me too, but too bad. The closest thing you can get to that is at RuneFest, RuneScape's very own convention. Old school RuneScape looks more like one of those old 317 private servers from back in the day. Checking your bank and selling stuff on your phone using the RuneScape Authenticator app. This thing is pretty handy. They troll us every year with April Fool's jokes. I wanted a horse. We got toy horses. I wanted a dragon kite. They gave us a real kite. And I lost my dream of owning a green pea hat that was literally a pea strung to my head. All the different areas you can explore, such as dungeons, castles, ships, towns, old ruins, and even heaven, if you did the quest. One small favor. That quest was not one favor at all. You had to talk to this guy, talk to this guy, talk to this guy, 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 and that guy, and then redo it all over again. Vic the Trader coming around once a year so you can get rid of your unwanted bonus XP. Stop hiring somewhat popular RuneScape video makers to work for you. They get fired within a few months. <coughs> Achieving 99 in all skills and finally being accepted into the Max Guild. Having a world event that has no use for players unless it's being used for a holiday event. The funny little references and Easter eggs hidden throughout the game. Jagex nerfs everything. Trigors. Who nerfed that? Warbands. Who nerfed that? Effigies. Who nerfed that? Soul Split. Who nerfed that? God Wars. Who nerfed that? It created our Lord and Savior meme. What happened to RuneScape coming to the Wii? It was said it was coming to the Wii, but now it's not. Jagex brought back Tutorial Island and updated all of its wonderful nostalgia goodness. Everything in the RuneScape store is overpriced. $8 for a party hat and it costs an extra $4 to ship? Are you kidding me? Seeing the RuneScape official handbook at your school's book fair and making your friends jelly because you knew how to get the gains. And that awesome map that came with it too. Just about all the content that Jagex releases into RuneScape is dead within a week. All the legendary players that have came and went over the years that inspired us to achieve our goals. Thank you, Zezima, Suomi, yogo Sun, and the Old Knight. Dungeoneering. This doesn't feel like a skill, and having to bank all your items to work together with three random people to train it and then cashing in your reward tokens for items make it feel like it's a highly advanced minigame. 
being able to play old school RuneScape without membership. All the bugs and glitches that Jagex fails to overlook, like the Falador Massacre, Dungeoneering 5k Runecrafting XP glitch, Hand Cannon PKing glitch, and killing any PC anywhere with a Mind Spike glitch. Finally getting a message in your inbox from Jagex offering you to become a player moderator. All the massive grinding you have to do to get to a certain level or gain a certain amount of total experience points takes forever. RuneScape has been around for a very long time, since 1998 when it was first called Devious Muds. It was created from the minds of Andrew and Paul Gower. What started as a minor project has formed into something massive that people from around the world have enjoyed. Whether from its skills, to its lore, to its community. It has had a lot of ups and downs throughout the years that have made it what it is today. And even if you don't like the current changes, the employees at Jagex will listen to your feedback to give you what you want. RuneScape means a lot to us, whether you're a veteran player or a new player just starting out. We can all get enjoyment from RuneScape 3 or Old School. I look forward to the future of what this game and its company are going to bring. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more, please leave me a comment. I'm Joey ORS, and I'll see you next time.